Here are 30 most commonly asked AWS data analysis interview questions, along with detailed answers. 1. Explain what Amazon S3 is and how it can be used in data analysis. Answer: Amazon S3 Simple Storage Service is an object storage service that allows users to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time. In data analysis, S3 is commonly used as a data lake, providing scalable and durable storage for large data sets. Analysts can store raw data, data sets, or analysis results in S3 for easy access and integration with other AWS services. 2. What is Amazon Redshift? And how does it differ from traditional relational databases? Answer: Amazon Redshift is a fully managed data warehouse service that allows for fast querying and analysis of large datasets. It differs from traditional relational databases in its architecture, which is optimized for high performance analysis. Redshift uses a columnar storage approach and massively parallel processing MPP to handle large scale data analysis efficiently. 3. How can you move data from Amazon S3 to Amazon Redshift for analysis? Answer: Data can be moved from Amazon S3 to Amazon Redshift using the copy command. This command allows users to load data in parallel from one or more files in S3 to tables in Redshift. Additionally, AWS Glue or Amazon Redshift Spectrum can be used for more complex ETL extract transform load processes. 4. What is AWS Glue, and how is it used in data analysis workflows? Answer: AWS Glue is a fully managed ETL service that makes it easy to prepare and load data for analysis. It can discover, catalog, transform, and move data between data stores. In data analysis workflows, Glue is often used to automate the ETL process reducing the time and effort required to prepare data for analysis. 5. Explain the concept of Amazon Athena and how it facilitates serverless querying of data. Answer. Amazon Athena is a serverless query service that allows users to analyze data in Amazon S3 using standard Skull. It does not require any infrastructure setup or management. Athena allows users to run ad hoc queries on data stored in S3, making it a convenient and cost-effective option for occasional or exploratory analysis. 6. What is AWS Data Pipeline, and how does it support data movement and transformation? Answer. AWS Data Pipeline is a web service for orchestrating and automating the movement and transformation of data between different AWS services and on-premises data sources. It provides a graphical interface for defining, scheduling, and monitoring data workflows. Data pipeline is often used for automating complex data processing tasks, making it easier to manage and maintain data workflows. 7. How can you secure sensitive data in AWS for data analysis purposes? Answer: Sensitive data in AWS can be secured using various measures. A. Use AWS Identity and Access Management EM to control access to AWS resources. B. Implement encryption at rest and in transit using services like AWS Key Management Service KMs and CSEL or TELS. C. Use VPC Virtual Private Cloud and Security Groups to control network access. D. Apply encryption and access controls at the object level in Amazon S3. 8. Explain the concept of AWS Lambda and how it can be used in data analysis workflows. Answer. AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service that allows users to run code without provisioning or managing servers. In data analysis workflows, Lambda functions can be triggered by events such as file uploads to S3 to perform specific tasks, such as data preprocessing, validation, or sending notifications. Lambda functions are useful for building event-driven data processing pipelines. 9. What is Amazon EMR, and how does it support big data processing in AWS? Answer, 
Amazon EMR Elastic MapReduce is a cloud-based big data platform that simplifies the processing of large data sets. Using popular frameworks like Apache Spark and Apache Hadoop, EMR allows users to easily provision and scale clusters to process and analyze data in parallel. It is suitable for a variety of data analysis tasks including machine learning, log analysis, and data transformation. 10. How can you optimize costs when working with large datasets in AWS? Answer. A. Use on-demand instances for sporadic workloads and reserved instances for predictable workloads to optimize EC2 costs. B. Leverage AWS spot instances for cost-effective compute resources. C. Use auto-scaling to automatically adjust resources based on demand. D. Consider using Amazon S3 storage classes to optimize storage costs based on access patterns. 11. Explain the purpose of Amazon Kinesis and how it can be used for real-time data streaming. Answer. Amazon Kinesis is a platform for streaming data on AWS. It includes services like Kinesis Data Streams for real-time ingestion of large datasets. Kinesis Data Firehose for loading data into data stores, and Kinesis Data Analytics for real-time analytics. Kinesis is used to collect, process, and analyze streaming data, making it suitable for applications that require real-time insights. 12. What is AWS Glue Data Brew, and how does it simplify data preparation for analysis? Answer, AWS Glue Data Brew is a visual data preparation tool that makes it easy for data analysts to clean, normalize, and transform data for analysis. It provides a visual interface for exploring, cleaning, and transforming data without writing code. Glue Data Brew integrates with AWS Glue and other AWS services to streamline the data preparation process. 13. How does AWS QuickSight facilitate data visualization and analytics? Answer. Amazon QuickSight is a business intelligence BI service that allows users to create and share interactive dashboards and visualizations. It can directly connect to various data sources, including Amazon Redshift, Amazon S3, and other AWS services. QuickSight simplifies the process of creating visualizations and enables users to gain insights from their data. 14. What is AWS CloudFormation, and how can it be used in data analysis workflows? Answer. AWS CloudFormation is a service that allows users to define and provision AWS infrastructure as code. In data analysis workflows, Cloud formation templates can be used to automate the deployment of resources such as EC2 instances, Redshift clusters, and other infrastructure components. This ensures consistency and repeatability in setting up environments for analysis. 15. Explain the concept of AWS step functions and how they can be used in data workflows. Answer. AWS step functions is a serverless orchestration service that allows users to coordinate multiple AWS services into serverless workflows. In data workflows, step functions can be used to define and execute multi-step data processing tasks. This makes it easier to manage and visualize complex workflows involving different AWS services. 16. What is Amazon QuickSight ML Insights, and how does it integrate with machine learning in AWS? Answer. Amazon QuickSight ML Insights is a feature in Amazon QuickSight that automatically discovers hidden trends and patterns in data using machine learning. It can identify key drivers, anomalies, and trends in the data, providing automated insights. ML Insights enhances the data analysis experience by uncovering valuable information without the need for manual exploration. 17. How can AWS Lake Formation be used to build a secure and scalable data lake? Answer. AWS Lake Formation is a service that simplifies the process of building, securing, and managing data lakes. It provides tools for ingesting, cataloging, 
and securing data at scale. Lake formation enables users to define and enforce fine-grained access controls, ensuring that sensitive data is appropriately protected within the data lake. 18. Explain the concept of AWS glue crawlers and how they contribute to data cataloging. Answer. AWS Glue Crawlers are components of AWS Glue that automatically discover and catalog metadata about data sources. Crawlers analyze data stored in various formats and locations, creating metadata tables in the AWS Glue data catalog. This metadata can then be used by AWS services and tools for querying and analyzing the data. 19. What is Amazon Aurora and how does it support high-performance database workloads? Answer. Amazon Aurora is a fully managed relational database engine that is compatible with MySQL and PostgreSQL. It is designed for high performance, reliability, and scalability. Aurora uses a distributed architecture to provide low latency and high throughput performance making it suitable for demanding database workloads in data analysis. 20. How does AWS Glue Studio simplify the ETL process in data analysis workflows? Answer. AWS Glue Studio is a visual interface for building ETL extract, transform, load workflows. It provides a no-code and low-code environment for designing and running data transformations. Glue Studio simplifies the ETL process by allowing users to visually design workflows, making it accessible to a broader audience, including data analysts. 21. Explain the purpose of Amazon EventBridge and how it supports event-driven architectures. Answer. Amazon EventBridge is a serverless event bus service that makes it easy to connect different applications using events. It allows for the decoupling of applications and supports event-driven architectures. In data analysis, EventBridge can be used to react to data-related events, triggering actions or workflows based on changes or additions to datasets. 22. How can AWS DataSync be utilized for data transfer between on-premises environments and AWS? Answer. AWS DataSync is a data transfer service that simplifies and accelerates moving large amounts of data between on-premises environments and AWS. It supports incremental transfers and ensures efficient use of network bandwidth. DataSync can be used to migrate data to AWS for analysis or to keep on-premises and cloud datasets in sync. 23. What are AWS DataBrew recipes and how do they enhance data preparation tasks? Answer. AWS Glue DataBrew recipes are configurations that define transformations and cleaning operations on datasets. They provide a way to structure and repeatable data preparation steps. DataBrew recipes enhance data preparation tasks by allowing users to create reusable recipes. For cleaning, transforming and enriching data without the need for manual coding. 24. How does Amazon QuickSight integrate with machine learning services in AWS? Answer. Amazon QuickSight can integrate with AWS machine learning services such as Amazon SageMaker. This integration allows users to build and run machine learning models directly within QuickSight. Enabling predictive analytics and embedding machine learning insights into data visualizations and dashboards. 25. Explain the role of AWS Glue ETL jobs in data analysis workflows. Answer. AWS Glue ETL Extract Transform Load jobs are processes that define the steps for preparing and loading data into a target data store. These jobs are used to automate the ETL process, transforming raw data into a format suitable for analysis. Glue ETL jobs can be scheduled, monitored, and managed through the AWS Glue service. 26. What is AWS Data Pipeline, and how does it differ from AWS Glue in data workflows? Answer. AWS Data Pipeline is a web service for orchestrating and automating the movement and transformation of data between different AWS services. 
It provides a graphical interface for defining data workflows. AWS Glue, on the other hand, is a fully managed ETL service that focuses on data discovery, cataloging, and transformation. While Data Pipeline is a general purpose orchestration service, Glue is specifically designed for ETL tasks. 27. How can AWS Lake Formation help organizations enforce data access policies in a data lake? Answer. AWS Lake Formation provides fine-grained access controls for data stored in a data lake. It allows organizations to define and enforce data access policies based on user roles, ensuring that only authorized users can access sensitive data. LakeFormation integrates with AWS Identity and Access Management EM to manage permissions and access to data lake resources. 28. What is AWS Glue? Elastic Views. And how does it simplify data integration across different data stores? Answer. AWS Glue Elastic Views is a service that simplifies data integration across multiple data stores. It allows users to create materialized views that automatically replicate and keep data synchronized across different sources. Glue Elastic Views simplifies the process of building and maintaining a consolidated view of data from diverse sources for analysis. 29. Explain the concept of AWS Glue Dynamicframs and their role in data transformations. Answer. AWS Glue Dynamicframs are an abstraction over Apache Spark data frames used in AWS Glue ETL jobs. They provide a way to work with semi-structured data and allow users to apply transformations using a familiar API. Dynamicframs make it easier to handle complex data structures and formats. During the ETL process, enhancing flexibility in data transformations. 30. How can Amazon SageMaker be used for machine learning tasks in a data analysis workflow? Answer. Amazon SageMaker is a fully managed service for building, training, and deploying machine learning models. In a data analysis workflow, SageMaker can be used for tasks such as A. Training machine learning models on large datasets. B. Deploying models for real-time or batch predictions. C. Automating machine learning workflows with SageMaker Autopilot. These detailed answers should provide insights into how candidates approach AWS data analysis questions. In an interview, for more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.